السلام علیکم جی اسٹوڈینٹس آئی ایم عارف اینڈ آئی ویلکم یو آل ٹو دا نیکسٹ سیشن آن دا سبجیکٹ آف سسٹم پروگرامنگ وتھ لینکس دا ٹائٹل آف ٹوڈے سیشن از پروگرامنگ دا شیئرڈ میموری اینڈ دس لائٹ شوز دا ایجنڈا آف ٹوڈے سیشن ویل شیئرڈ میموری لاز ٹو اور مور پروسیس ٹو شیئر اے میموری ریجن اور سیگمنٹ آف میموری فار ریڈنگ اینڈ رائٹنگ پرپزز The problem with pipes, FIFOs and message queues is that more switches are involved as the data has to pass from one process buffer to the kernel buffer and then to another process buffer. Since access to user space memory does not require a mod switch, therefore shared memory is considered as one of the quickest means of IPC. Well, dear students, we can implement or use shared memory in our programs using either the System 5 API or the POS6 API. We will be using System 5 API. Uh, this SHM get call is used to create a new shared memory segment or obtain the identifier of an existing one. While this SHM AT or SHM attach call is used to attach the shared memory segment with the address space of the calling process. After using the address space, the SHM detach call is used to detach the memory segment. And finally, we, uh, a process uh, having appropriate privileges can delete the shared memory segment using the SHM control call. Let us discuss these system calls one by one. The SHM get system call creates a new shared memory segment or obtains the identifier of an existing segment. The contents of the newly created shared memory segment are initialized to zero and the return value is actually the ID of the shared memory segment. The first argument key to this call can be the constant IPC private or can be achieved using using the ftalk library call as we have seen in our previous session of message queues. The second argument size actually specifies the desired size of the segment in bytes. And of course the operating system kernel round this up to the next multiple of the system page size. And this third argument uh, SHM flag this specifies the permissions to be placed on on a newly shared memory segment. This SHM AT or shared memory attached system call attaches a shared memory segment identified by this first argument SHM ID to the address space of the calling process. This second argument uh, is actually the address where the memory segment is to be attached. If we want the OS kernel to select a suitable address for this, we keep a null over here. And it is always recommended to keep a null in the second argument of this call. Uh, this third argument, uh, SHM flag, can be SHM read-only if you want to attach the shared memory segment for read-only access. Or we can place a zero over here to give both read and write access. Uh, a successful SHM attach call will return the address at which the shared memory segment is attached, which can be treated like a normal C pointer. After we have used the shared memory segment, uh, a process normally detaches the shared memory segment using the SHM DT call. The only argument to this call is uh, the, the address which identifies the segment to be detached and this is the value that uh, is actually returned from the SHM AT call. Uh, remember uh, detaching a shared memory segment is not the same as deleting it. We can always delete it using the SHM control call. Well dear students, a child uh, created by folk inherits its parents attached shared memory segments. 
Thus, shared memory provides an easy method of IPC between the parent and child. But a point to keep in mind is that after an exec, all attached shared memory segments are detached. And of course, shared memory segments are also automatically detached when a process terminates. Uh, finally, SHM CTL call is used to perform control operations on the shared memory segment. And one of the basic control operations that we uh, will perform is the deletion of the shared memory. And for that, the second argument to this SHM control will be IPC underscore argmed. Okay, now we have uh, a fair idea of the system calls involved uh, for using the system 5 shared memory. So it's time to move to the Linux terminal to see the proof of the concept. Well, remember, do not miss the man pages, system 5 IPC, which shows the, all the three inter-process communication mechanisms under system 5, that is the message use, semaphores and shared memory segments. To see the man page of SHM get, which is uh, used to create a new memory segment or get the identifier of an existing one. Do see the man page of SHM attach and detach as well. And finally, do see the man page of SHM control for performing control operation. Well, dear students, if you want to carry the system wide limit of uh, the number of shared memory segments that can be created at any one time, you can view the contents of the file inside the proc directory and sys directory and the kernel directory and the name of the file is shmmni. The value is 4096. So this is the uh, maximum limit of the total number of shared memory segments. And to view the maximum size in bytes of a shared memory segment, you can view the contents of the file inside proc, sys, kernel and the name of the file is shmmax. So uh, this is in bytes. Uh, well, practically this limit depends of course on the available RAM and the, and the swap space. Okay, dear students, now let us uh, review the code of a sample program that creates and writes in a shared memory segment. Let me vim a program writer.c. See the code, it will be simple. Well, in the beginning, ftalk call is used to generate a unique key, which is used as the first argument to shm get. And SHM get uses this key to create a shared memory segment of size uh, 1 KB and having a read write permissions to all. Uh, later, the process uh, attaches uh, uh, this shared memory to its address space using this SHM AT call, and the call returns the pointer to that shared memory segment, which is stored in this uh, character pointer buffer. Uh, the process is going to write a character string over there so the address is casted to character pointer. And later uh, the process uses fgets uh, to input a string from user via keyboard and the input string will be written in the shared memory segment pointed to by this buffer. Finally the process uh, detaches the shared memory and, and exits. I hope the code is clear. Let me compile this program first writer.c with the name of writer and uh, before we execute this program let us see the ipcs let us use the ipcs command uh, we have used it before as well to see the existing shared memories ipcs hyphen m the option should be hyphen m to view the shared memories Note that there are three memory segments already whose uh, information is being displayed. Let me execute the writer program. It is prompting me to enter a string. Let me enter the famous saying, learning is fun with RF. So it has written it in that shared memory segment, detached that segment and terminated. Let us run the IPCS-M command again and now you can see 
the shared memory segment is there of size 1 KB and having read write permissions to all owner is RF and that message that is learning is fun with RF must be there in this shared memory segment. And now let us uh, see our reader program that will read this shared memory segment. Let me show you the code of that program reader.c uh, Note the arguments to ftalk are same as were in the writer program thus will generate the same key which is used by by shm get over here uh, this will return the id of the existing shared memory segment that is no new memory segment will be created this time uh, later the process use shm attach call to attach uh, this memory segment with its own address space and get the pointer uh, to the shared memory segment and uh, over here the process is actually reading uh, this shared memory segment pointed to by buffer and using the printf function to display its contents on std out the process then detach the shared memory segment using shm dt and finally deletes the memory segment using shm control call so this is great and simple as well let me compile this reader program with the name of reader let me execute this reader and you see the reader has successfully read the data written inside this memory segment and remember the data is still there it is not destructive read semantics as in case of pipes FIFOs and and message queues if I run the reader again, it says data read from memory. It, it is not showing that data because, because, well, yes, because the reader program has uh, deleted it. Let me show you the code again. The reader program has deleted this shared memory segment. That is why the data is not retrieved again. Let me show you using this IPCS-M. Well, yes, the data has been deleted. To confirm this, let me uh, run the writer again. Uh, this is fun as well as great. The data is there now, IPCS-M. You can see the data is there. Let me change the code of the reader a bit. Uh, let me just comment this portion. I don't want to delete that shared memory segment so that I can run the reader again and again. Let me compile it with the name of reader. Let me run the reader. Let me run the reader and let me run the reader again. memory is still there so that is great that was really fun let's move back to the slides so the uh, so just uh, that is the end of today's session uh, i hope it was informative for you all if you have liked it please subscribe my youtube channel and share it with your friends see you next time wish you all the best happy learning and allah hafiz